Chester, five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Mr. Chu, as I'm sure you know, this hearing is part of an ongoing effort by our committee to examine data security and other concerns with social media companies broadly. And I have to tell you, I came to this hearing interested to hear the actions that TikTok is taking to combat misinformation, protect our young people, and ensure our national security. But I, I've not been reassured by anything you've said so far. And I think, quite frankly, um, your testimony has raised more questions for me uh, than answers. As some of my colleagues already noted, platforms like TikTok can easily manipulate and undermine user autonomy with addictive features, invasive data collection practices, and disseminating misinformation and disinformation. That's why I will be reintroducing the Detour Act to mitigate this harm. Mr. Chu, yes or no, would you oppose legislation that banned the use of intentionally manip manipulative design techniques that trick users into giving up their personal information? In principle, uh, it's just a yes or no. In principle, I agree that that kind of practices is not. And can TikTok okay. users opt out of targeted ads? Yes or no? At this moment in time, we believe that this is a very important part of the experience. Yes or no? Time is ticking. It is an important part of the experience. If, even if someone wants targeted ads, um, do you give a user a clear opportunity to prevent TikTok from using tools like pixels to collect their data and track them off of the TikTok platform? We give our users a lot of tools to control their privacy settings on our app. And by the way, if you're below 16, it's private by default. So you cannot even go viral. In no, August of 2022, response um, to a letter I wrote to your company on abortion misinformation, TikTok asserted several actions to address abortion misinformation. In light of recent attacks on safe and effective medication abortion, I'm remained worried uh, by this misinformation. And following on Ms. DeGette's questioning, how many posts did you actually take down that contained abortion misinformation? Um, we Contents and views on both sides of the um, on abortion is allowed on our platform is just freedom of expression. If it's dangerous misinformation, we rely on third party experts to help us identify and remove them. I can get back to you on specifics. Yes, on, please on get back numbers. with us yeah. on the specifics. Um, Mr. Chu, in your testimony, you indicated TikTok has taken several steps to implement Project Texas. You've said you've spent, uh, in your testimony, $1.5 billion. You've hired 1,500 full-time employees. Can I ask for some specifics about the implementation? Um, this $1.5 billion, what was it used for? The employees, were they people that you already had that you just transferred over? And what types of roles will they have? Oh, OK. Um, this uh, billion and a half US dollars is spread across many things, including the infrastructure we have to build, the migration of the data to a new cloud infrastructure, you know, and all the third party security partners that we're hiring, and of course the new uh, employees. Now this team will now be run by a gentleman who used to be this, um, who, who has spent his career uh, uh, as a chief security officer in other companies, uh, and another gentleman who used to work, I believe in um, if you could just follow national, up yeah. with us, that would be very helpful. I, I will. I because will. we would really like to understand the details. Where's the money going? How many people are you, and what will they be doing? Okay. You know, as I put just kind of a finer point on this, one of my concerns is that we came here hoping to hear some actions that would alleviate some of our concerns and our fears. We got family members. We have a lot of folks here that are constituents, that are content creators. And for us, we were looking for action. We wanted to see, make us feel like we really can trust as you use the word. What I leave here with is thinking about the fact that your company is, I, I learned that you're, you have personalized data uh, advertising for kids as young as 13. And we've heard until Project Texas is supposedly stood up, engineers in China still have access to personal data. And that that means engineers in China have access to personal data of 13-year-olds in the United States. And I think that really summarizes why you see so much bipartisan consensus and concern about your company. And I imagine that it's not going away anytime soon. Thank you, Madam Chair, and I yield back.